Hello and welcome back to Shop Cuts. Today I'm going to talk to you about my CMT 333 hinge boring jig. You've probably seen me use this in previous videos to bore the holes for our European style hinges and cabinet doors. It makes a hole kind of like that. Three holes. Uh, I've mentioned before that this particular unit is probably the best bang for the buck as far as a jig that will drill all the holes at once and uh, it comes in at less than three hundred dollars compared to standalone machines that are uh, two to three thousand dollars so what we've done is we've done some upgrades um, to our setup here and I wanted to show those upgrades to you and share those with you uh, might be something that you want to do if you're interested in this unit I'll put a link in the description uh, to where you can purchase one of these uh, they are kind of hard to find from time to time but uh, just keep your eyes peeled and uh, they'll pop up every once in a while. It's a great investment and a great addition to my shop and I think it's uh, uh, this with the upgrades that we've done is, is really going to prove to be uh, worthwhile in your shop. So let's go show you what we've done. There's a couple shortcomings about it uh, that I don't like um, and I plan on making some changes today and I thought I might as well show you guys. Um, for one thing, this is the fence right here that is used to determine the spacing between the cup hinge uh, hole and the edge of your door. And you can see it's got some play in it and over time or after you're doing 20, 30, 40, 50 doors, uh, this can get slightly out of whack and it causes problems on getting your hinges lined up and just held in by a little thumb screw which can come loose too and really mess up your spacing. Um, I have put some Loctite on the thumb screw before and that seems to help some but it doesn't get rid of the wobble so uh, I'm going to get rid of that and do something different uh, and I'll show you. And the other thing is I, I've been using this kind of homemade clamp system using a piece of T-Track and a couple of these clamps and some piece, a little piece of plywood and some screws here and <clears throat> that's actually worked pretty well it keeps your door square and doesn't let it move anywhere the only thing I don't like about it is I really would like this clamp to be further out uh, and just to get a little better clamping purchase on on the material so um, I think I'm going to add a second piece of T-Track and make this piece this jig bigger and cover more area and, and also be more secure okay so I started off by I'm actually going to flip the board around and, and mount my uh, CMT jig on this end probably don't have to but I just decided to do that then I took a uh, router bit, it's actually a, a T-slot router bit, and made a groove right here. I think it's about two, two and a half inches off the end. Uh, first I just took a straight, straight bit and hogged out most of that material with a straight bit. And then went back in and made my T-slot like that. So. And this is for our fence, our new fence. And then I took a piece of angle iron uh, and I notched out a chunk in the middle here to fit around the base of our CMT 333. And then uh, you stick your quarter by 20 bolts in your new slots that you've made just like that I, and I cheated and I made a pencil mark on the on the wood so I know where my spot is for my fence but it leaves me some room to adjust and I've, I've got some adjustability built into this so uh, let's see if you can see that there we go. And then, 
So now we have our fence. So this would actually go on. We can get rid of we can get rid of that fence. I'm just gonna unscrew this all the way. Take that out. Okay. So this will actually mount right here now. So that's that. So now I've just got to cut our other groove in for uh, a second piece of T-track. I'll cut a groove in here and make a larger um, uh, clamping block. So we'll go over and get our uh, a dado stack in our table saw and we'll cut this groove out. Okay, so there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the upgrades we made to our CMT333 hinge boring system. As you can see, I've got a much larger clamping surface to clamp our doors down securely. We've got a much longer fence to reference our doors up against to for, for boring the holes. Uh, compared to before, we had a little short fence that was held in by a thumb screw. And it would oftentimes, a thumb screw would either come loose or, or the fence would uh, go in or out or even wiggle and it wouldn't keep a true uh, setting so uh, we've taken a good uh, good hinge boring system and now it's we've made a great hinge boring system especially for the money for less than three hundred dollars you can't beat it so I hope you guys enjoyed this content and found it helpful and useful if you did please press the like button if you have any questions you can leave those in the comments and uh, feel free to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon for notifications of new content coming to you. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.